Charlie and welcome to Explore. We're in the Arctic. The indigenous people of much of the Arctic are the Inuit, a people who live by and in harmony with the land and sea of this frozen paradise. What they eat defines much of who they are. We are about to guide you through the traditions and culture surrounding the cuisine of the Inuit people. We are traveling through Northeast Canada and Greenland. Our guide, the mayor of Iqaluit, Elisipi Shutiapik. What do we got here? What's Seal that? meat with oh. some fat. Yeah, definitely this piece. In our community, the hunting is still very much a big part of people's lives. When our people go hunting, it's usually for caribou or seal, walrus, whales. There are still two hunters in Iqaluit. When they come into the community with a catch, they go around and distribute their catch. Did I deliver or what? <laughs> Yeah. We have a special way of cutting it. We have a special way of preparing it. And all different part of the seal is for uh, for them, for women's part, men's part. That's how you eat the seal. Oh, what, what part do the women get? Heart, spinal, liver is for women and men as well. Things like that. And what part do the men get? The ribs lower ribs and the lower spine. It's not, you know, how they always say Inuit eat raw food. No, we eat raw food, but it has to be prepared traditionally. And we don't eat it like a savages. We eat it like a human being, like somebody who put it on the table and you eat it proudly. When you were in my father's role, that you did not need to earn income, but you, your income was to survive with country food. We were taught how to support everybody, support ourselves within, within the small community. The Inuit have a unique and spiritual connection to what they hunt and eat. The traditional religion of the Inuit is, in fact, animism, which includes a belief that animals, like human beings, possess souls. Legend puts forth that the seal actually offer themselves up to hunters in exchange for the hunter's respect of nature. Our times easier today or harder no, for hunting? No, I would say it's harder because there, there seems to be more people and uh, less uh, hunting grounds are a lot more occupied. But before, our fathers have to work hard. It's not easy being Inuk and live off the land. It wasn't until I actually visited the Arctic that I realized how desolate and often hostile the environment could be. It became clear that human survival here has always depended upon hunting, and still does. The mayor and I visited the meat market in Sisseton, Greenland. It was very different from the local butcher shop back home. this little dolphin we have made eating so impersonal if i had to kill a caribou i'd probably just be a vegetarian we buy meat so neatly packaged in the market it's so attractive but the environment is the inuit supermarket what's that over there Cook it. 
Whoa. You, you prefer raw. In your freezer, though? Frozen? Yeah. yeah. Which one is this? Small whale. Looks good. <laughs> Yummy. The Inuit really appreciate the animal and use every part of it to the last drop. Madam Mayor, may I take your order, please? <laughs> Have you noticed with the more your culture switched from hunting to just going to the general store that health has been affected by the you know, spread of junk food itself? Oh, very much so, I'd say. We're not as strong. There's more obesity. And you know, we had very healthy people back in the day when all they ate was country food. No sugar, <laughs> no additives. Feeding a family from just market food is also practically impossible for most Inuit families. The current lack of deep sea docks in this part of the world means there are no mass food imports. So the cost of store-bought food is incredibly high. There are lots of blueberries in the Arctic, and these berries traditionally have been harvested by the Inuit, by the people, for sustenance, and, and as well by several species of wildlife. They are actually most succulent in the spring after the winter. They are not bad. There is not much nutrition in them. They are not that sweet, but these ones have had the time to ripen. Uh, this is built this year. This is our first attempt to provide an Arctic greenhouse. Grocery store prices for food are extremely expensive, so this was an attempt to see if we could develop a greenhouse for the Arctic. This is actually an advice by NASA that told us how to grow tomatoes upside down. And it's all solar heat. There's no uh, artificial heat at all. What have you found grows well? The tomatoes have done exceedingly well. The zucchini's done well. Uh, the peas are doing quite well. Can you farm in the permafrost? No. Uh, the active layer of soil in some places is only inches deep. Underneath, it's frozen. Farming is never something that people could do. However, it is possible in parts of the Arctic to farm, but not here. Our way of life has changed in the sense that the hunter doesn't just hunt anymore. They, they too, um, working in the, in the government system where it's Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, and makes it harder to be a true hunter. As traditional Inuit culture and lifestyle is absorbed into the modern world, the cuisine will undergo some changes. For now, though, the best meal in town is good old Arctic country food. Yummy!